I'm sure you've seen these cool looking fonts on TikTok or other social media platforms and you thought, oh my goodness, I want that font. I wonder if I can use it on Canva. In this video, we're going to add our own fonts on Canva. Is to access the website called Da Font, and once you're on the Da Font downloads, you're able to search for the font that you're looking for. They've got various fonts that you could search and pick, and then download and head over to Canva. It is not the only one. The other one that you could use is 1001 free downloads fonts that you could also use as you're downloading your fonts. So I'm looking for the bold font. You could then click and search and look for that. So what I will do, because I know exactly the font that I'm looking for, I've seen it on TikTok. I'm going to go the font, bold fonts. And then it immediately picks up the bold fonts on the font. And this is the font that I want to use and download on my Canva. You're then going to click where it says download because it's 100% free. We can use it. It will download as a zipped file and sit on our downloads. I'm then going to head over to my downloads files. So if you're using a Mac, you could just right click and open with archive utility because that unzips the file. If you're using Windows, then you could right click and click on extract all before you head over to Canva to upload the font. So there it is now the bold font, it's extracted. You're then gonna head over to your Canva and you're going to upload the font. Scroll down to your brand kit and this works on pro version only because it's a pro version functionality. You're then gonna scroll down to brand fonts and you're gonna click on upload a font. And then you're gonna go find it where you've saved it. I've saved mine on downloads and then you're going to click on the folder that's extracted and then you're gonna click open. So Canva accepts OTF, TTF or WOFF files. So that means it's going to accept the OTF and the TTF. So you could pick any of these two. Canva will then upload it on your brand kit. It wants you to confirm that you do have a right to use this and I'm going to say yes, upload anyway, because it is a free font that the Defont website has shared with us. Then there you go. The font has been uploaded on my brand fonts and it's over there. And now I'm ready to use it. So I'm going to go and create a TikTok and then test it out and see how it looks like. I'm going to press T for text and add my text. And then I'm going to go to my fonts and click on the drop down arrow. When you scroll down to your brand kit, then the uploaded fonts show over there. See, there's the bold font that's just been uploaded by us. And it looks like that. Cool. I like it. And that is how you upload fonts on Canva. I'm going to be doing a short tutorial to show you how to upload fonts on CapCut so that you're able to use CapCut and upload fonts on CapCut because sometimes we work on Canva, sometimes we work on CapCut. What you could do now, I've created a full course on Canva that has more than 50 videos that teaches you A to Z of your Canva and it's a lifetime access. It has a ton of videos that teaches you how Canva works. So head over there, enroll yourself and learn Canva. I will see you on the next video.